Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about Fang, the newest chromatic brawler inside of Brawl Stars, which is going to be released in the next Brawl Pass season in 27 days from now. I'm a little bit sick, but I'm very excited today to make a new video for all of you. First thing that I noticed when I started to play Fang is that he seems a lot faster than what he actually is, especially when he is dealing damage. The good thing about Fang is that his super connects and when a few brawlers are grouping up, they will all be dealt with the maximum damage that Fang can deal. Fang can deal in long range, very little damage, but very good to charge up his super. And close range damage is absolutely insane. It's like a bull shot with decent range and very easy to hit, which is really strong. Fang is going to be very balanced, but I also think some kind of overpowered in a way, and especially in Solo Showdown. What I noticed the most when I played Fang for the first time is that his shots do not go through each other, just like they do with Edgar. When you open boxes in Solo Showdown with Edgar, you can open multiple boxes at once, while with Fang you can only hit one target at a time. Even when they stand really close to each other, or when boxers are grouping up to each other, you can only hit them one at a time with your shot, which is something you really need to keep in mind. It's something that seems very easy to understand, but it's something that you have to get used to, especially with Fang being such an aggressive brawler to play with, especially Super is so aggressive, like it's really really strong, and Fang's star power is really strong as well but i also think that with the new update with level 11 and all these gears fang is going to be way harder to max out at first so his star power is going to be less in game which is very good actually because i think it's going to be extremely strong when you finish off a brawler with your super and you kill them you get instantly your super back recharged which means that if you know how to play fang and you play him well and consistently and you learn him you will keep your super consistently throughout the whole game, which is really strong. It's also important that you do not confuse yourself with Fang and Edgar, because it's really important that you are careful when you are around boxes. Brothers can easily hide behind them because you only hit one box at a time when you are fighting with Fang. His super is really strong, very good to escape as well, but you need to be careful and not confuse yourself in these situations. Everyone, I suppose, will die at the first time you play Fang and you test this out because it's really confusing. You think that you're going to hit them through the boxes, but that's actually not true. Then I want to quickly talk about Fang's gadget, Cornfu. He tussles around a few kennels and he makes it rain popcorn, dealing 500 damage each. I absolutely think that's going to be a really, really strong gadget to gain some kind of advantage in getting up front in a situation especially in 3v3 game modes like gem grab it's going to be a really strong gadget because the corn he throws around is so much and i also think that fang is going to be the most popular brawler so far in the brawl pass because edgar is one of the fan favorite brawlers inside of brawl stars right now and i think fang is going to be very similar he's so fun to play and Furious Fang is such an amazing skin at the end of Brawl Pass. I do think that all Fang his spins are really amazing and in general a very fun brawler. The newest brawler that is going to be added in a few days from now with a new epic challenge is Grom. Which we are going to watch a little sneak peek about right now. Grom is going to be a really strong brawler. But also a brawler that's going to be easy to counter for certain brawlers like Mortis. So it's going to be very interesting how to how he's going to play out in the meta. And how he is going to be worked within comps inside of 3v3. I think especially with his super which is so strong to break walls with. It's going to be very, very interesting and how it's going to work out. And I also want to hear what all your thoughts about Fang because I really love him and I'm so excited to play him in 27 days when the Brawl Pass is going to be released. So please let me know and I wish all of you so much luck in the Grom challenge tomorrow. I should advise you to watch some challenges but I don't think honestly that's going to be a hard challenge. It's around holiday teams so it's going to be very easy what I supposed to be and it's also one gem to retry. So thank you so much for watching. 
please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you